This is Vermont's original bag balm. I believe they said this is, uh, they, they started or they were using this for horses or cows or something like that. What? And I guess if they had like a really like dry or cracking like, um, on their skin or whatever, I don't know. But I, I seen it on uh, online, and this is this container. I think it was like seven and change. So call it like eight bucks. It tops. Yeah. So I decided to try it. Use on dry skin that can crack, split, or chafe. Hands, feet, elbows, knees, cuticles, lips, face. The legendary rescue balm from the farms of Vermont's rugged. Northeast Kingdom, saving skin since 1899. Rub into skin thoroughly and allow bag balm to remain for full moisturizing and softening effect. Story there if you guys want to pause it and read it. And we have been using this. Um, what I've, what I find is like for me. The issue I have and why I'm always looking for like different types of creams and lotions and stuff like that is um, my skin, I guess, is like really sensitive to like, you, you know, like a women know this <laughs> and anyone who works like where, where, they're ha where they have to like wash their hands a lot. As you're doing that, especially if you're using these kind of like these harsh soaps. Um, like washing dishes, stuff like that. Like if you're, you know, in uh, healthcare or, you know, with taking care of babies, you got to make sure everything's clean, right? I think in general, you should be making sure everything's clean. But your hands get really, really dry. And I remember as a kid, like, as a kid, my knuckles would actually split and like bleed so as I've gotten older I, I see that my skin needs like extra pampering <laughs> so I make sure that I have like a lot of different lotions around because my skin gets dry as hell so I noticed also like on my sides where like my ribs are on the sides you know like where your arm falls and on the side of my uh like put it like on like my waist right like below the armpit like above the uh the hip whatever area i noticed that it gets really really dry there and i just hate the feeling so what i've been doing because uh the smell of this is kind of like how it looks. It doesn't look good, right? The smell is not good either. <laughs> it's like plastic. Imagine like band-aids. Okay. Right? Like you're sticking your face into like a like a barrel of band-aids or something like that. Kind of smells like that. But I don't mind the smell. And maybe maybe some people out there know what it's more uh, similar to. But yeah, it's 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 not great. <laughs> not great at all. And it's really, really heavy. It's like petroleum. It's like uh, kind of like Vaseline. Um, it's really thick, heavy. Uh, so what I actually started doing, and I always do this, I mix lotions. With baby oil. I'm not just baby oil with a lot of different stuff. So I'll have a container and I'll take that down with me. Like after I get out of the shower, I have this and I'll mix like different lotions in there because my wife likes these like Jergens or Jergens or whatever. She likes stuff like that. And so like I'll mix some of that because it's like bullshit. It's it's for me. It's it's like nothing. I hate those. They they don't do anything. 
I'll mix that with a little bit of like uh, baby oil or you know Curel lotion, which is pretty good. Um, some like cocoa butter lotion or whatever. I mix like a, a ton of them. And what I've found myself doing now is since I got this and I don't really like the smell, my wife doesn't like the smell either. And it's it's really like heavy, oily, sticky kind of shit. So I mix like I'll take a clump out of here and I mix it in the jar and I just, you know, make sure it gets in there. Uh, like mixed well and incorporated in, in the mixture and I just, you know, I'll use that so I get a little bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, after I'm done washing my hands, I just come in here. While, while and I always tell my wife this, while the skin is wet, <laughs> it sounds bad. But in order for all these things to work better, your skin needs to be wet. And I guess it's because it helps like open the pores or like prepare the skin in a way. I don't know. But I just like dab a little bit. That looks bad. <laughs> I just dab a little bit like that. Right? It looks bad, but that's how it looks if you buy it. I dab like that much, and then I take like equal part or a little bit more of like lotion. The uh, Alba up there. And this is. You guys have no idea how many lotion. Oh, I yeah. Have. I buy lotion, especially if it's on like clearance or something like that. I buy a lot. Because we always use it. She uses it all the time, and then I have to use it because, you know. But that's what I do, and I mix, like, equal parts or a little bit more, actually, of the uh, lotion. And um, I just pump a little. I just dab it, and I pump, I mix it, and then I, I do that for my hands. Now, this one I just received. I just ordered this, and I, I'm like, dude, like, that's, like, for, like, women, right? And it's, like... No, not really, especially that it's unscented. It doesn't smell good. Um, and this one, too. There's no smell to it. But I... I, 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 I this one, I believe, you got to be careful with because it has that sunburn alert. Um, yeah, sunburn alert. So you can't... You can't put this on and, like, go out outside because it has alpha hydroxy in it. Mm. Alpha hydroxy acid. Yeah, so. Um, but yeah, but yeah, this one, it doesn't seem so good, but it, it's, it's okay for me. I like the size and that it's, uh, has like, I guess like some oils in there. So it might help my skin a little bit more because if it's just jurgens or something like that, or jurgens, whatever, like this, that's nothing for my skin. It's, it's just not going to do anything. Um, this is like my wife's favorite or Johnson's she likes the smell of it for me I, I I'm not gonna use that shit right you know like I'm a guy but yeah for me that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll like dab here and then I take some of that and what I noticed this is my favorite this has always been uh, my favorite Curel this one is really really good for the face in my opinion if you you get a lot of breakouts and stuff like that that one's really, really good. Um, it doesn't clog the pores and stuff like that. And it's it it's really good for dry skin. I mean, it just helps. Um, we got this one, too. <laughs> We're not selling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're not selling these, but this is just, like, what we use on a regular basis. Because also my, my wife had this, like, issue with, uh, like, uh, hives. So we were thinking maybe it was the lotion. So yeah, I went crazy again and I started buying all these different things to see if it would help and obviously it didn't. Well, not obvious, right? But it didn't. So yeah, what I noticed, <laughs> I'm just going to keep adding these. This is another sunburn alert, sunburn alert uh, cream. This is good, but yeah, you can't use it in the sun because I guess it can give you sunburn or damage your skin or whatever. Um, what I noticed about this compared to everything else, and, and this one, uh, Curel, it's kind of pricey, so I don't use it too much on my hands. 
um, because I we just wash our hands so much. So I I'm gonna go through you know tubs of that shit. So I don't even bother with use this. Use for the face. Yeah, I only use this for the face. She only uses, and and that's where you're concerned more. Well, we're concerned more with like pimples, right? So it doesn't clog pores. So use it on the face, and then it might work really good. But just use anything else like cheaper on the hands because you you know you wash your hands so much. So you're just going to keep going through it. But what I noticed about this that I really, really like here on my uh, my fingers, um, if my hands get like too dry, this starts peeling back here, the skin. It starts peeling a lot. And that I hate it it's it's like painful it's annoying if you 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 put your hand in your pocket and you just like feel it like ripping the skin more i hate that and if you have issues with that this one couple days few days with this and it it does the job i mean it it starts taking care of business right away and yeah it heals it up it, it doesn't leave any kind of so like women you you guys wash your hands a lot usually i would say that women probably wash their hands more than guys you know so and you guys are working on your nails all the time well not everyone right but i mean a lot you might want to try it. it does not smell good so you might not like that but if you mix it like let's just say you mix it with johnson's it might not really come out so strong and like i said it just needs a little and it seems like it's gonna last like a long time so say this is like a eight to ten dollar lotion this is an eight to ten dollar lotion eight to ten eight to ten this one was probably well maybe around like fifteen dollars to twenty i don't know it's it's big um these are like your cheap ones uh, but like like i said if you mix and I don't know if that's like a good thing or not. Maybe someone does know. Maybe someone's going to say, that, yeah, there's a reason why they don't put all these chemicals together, obviously, right? And, you know, like maybe they're going to interact with each other and cause more problems. I don't know. But that's what I do specifically. $16. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, that's like a $17 lotion right here, 16 and change. Um, uh, with taxes, 18 bucks, something like that. So that's what I do, okay? Like for my body. I'll, uh, depending if I have like rough, rough skin or something like that, I might use something like this with the uh, uh, alpha hydroxy acid. Um, this one's really, really thick. So, like, what I did is I'll mix like a little bit of this, 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 and this with this. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mix it and then. You know, I can, I'll use it like on my body and it like, you know, for my elbows or my knees, something like that, where I have like really, really dry skin all the time. Or not that I have dry skin all the time, but where I know it will get dry right away or it gets really dry if I don't maintain it. But like I said, for the hands and maybe the feet, if you have issues with your feet, it probably works really well as well. Really well. Just like my suggestion, one thing that I've learned. And I actually learned it from models that they said, you got to make sure. And, and you know what? Actually, I didn't. It's just it's just something that I felt after my shower, putting all this on, felt and worked a lot better than putting it on like throughout the day while my hands are dry. And, you know, I see people doing that. My wife does. And I'm like... My hands feel like shit if my hands are already dry and I just go and pump and put it. It feels like shit. It feels like the lotion is just staying on the outside and everything's slippery, sticky, and smudgy all over everything. So I'll actually wet my hands. <laughs> if I'm not going to wash my hands, if they're just dry and I'm like kicking back, I'll actually get a bottle of water and like dribble in my hand and I, I make sure the skin's wet and then I pump a little lotion and then it seems like it like absorbs right away. And then, years later, I had confirmation from models that I heard that they're like, yeah, yeah, I make sure I put my lotion on right after I get out of the shower and all this kind of stuff. So I'm like, oh, well, it's not just in my head. So, yeah, 
if you have skin that like peels or that's kind of rough or really really dry something like that I, I i have to recommend this it seems like it's pretty good it seems like i might i might keep this one uh keep this uh keep buying this keep it around for like uh my hands um stuff like that my feet aren't like super dry so i know a lot of people especially if they're like wearing sandals all the time or walking barefoot back of your foot you need, really need to you know keep up with that it, it looks kind of bad if you're if you're not like uh and this might help maybe something like this too if it has alpha hydroxy but you know of course you got to worry about the sun so this isn't my advice i'm not like a fucking expert or something like that i'm just like giving you guys some some of what i've seen or what we've experienced and and you might think that this is a lot of lotion we still have <laughs> bottles everywhere i probably still have brand new bottles somewhere else in the house that we've never cracked open before yeah, and i stuff up. yeah we have more on the shelf i think she has two other bottles and they're not completed yet of dr teal's she has a huge bottle that of lotion that's it's not great but it smells really strong of lemon I like it. yeah i have another userin up there that's like uh like really thick and oily and sticky there's another userin yeah i have another userin here i have cocoa butter uh, you know it's i like i said we use it all the time so i don't have issue buying a ton of it because eventually we're going to use it right so you know i maybe some people are you know have experience with it going bad but we've never gotten to that point really I think before in the past, yeah, buying some like cheap ass lotions, you you crack it open and it doesn't smell right, and then it's like kind of watery. Yeah, that. But lately, that really hasn't happened. So, um, this one, like I said, I just received it, and I expected a lot better from it, but I my hands seems like they don't like it. And usually for me, when I wash my hands, I just use cold water. I just use cold. So maybe that's also affecting the uh performance on this but i did expect a lot more from this i thought it was going to be great because i have another oh yeah and i have another one from this as well that um this is really thick um i have another one from this brand with the the, the coconut one and it has they they say it has caffeine in it or something i don't know but that i don't know just seems like it's not working too well but then again, this, like I said, works very well. And it keeps my skin without problems, without issues. No drying or, or wrinkly or, or like shrivelly skin and stuff like that, you know, you get when it's like really kind of dry. Yeah, this one works really, really well. Eucerin, I'm sure a lot of you, if you know about lotions, you know Eucerin, you know, kicks ass. And like I said, Curel for me is like the champ. You know, so um, if you have money, probably just do Curel. But, like, again, I mean, some of you that really study all this stuff, maybe you guys know, like, the ingredients. You're like, yeah, that's bad for you, that's bad for you, that's bad for you, that's bad for you. What you should really do is just get some virgin coconut oil and, you know, stuff like that. I've tried it, and it smells like shit. I mean, it really does. You feel nasty, and it <laughs> smells kind of bad. And even if you say, like... Mm, no, it doesn't. Mm, I love the smell. Mm, you are fucking lying. Like, <laughs> I mean, I fucking tried it before. Okay, I, I've tried just using straight coconut oil, and that's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it's just like it. I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't work with me. You know, like some people they brush their teeth with it and shit like that, and I'm just like, no, it just don't work in my opinion it just i know a lot of you out there are probably like oh yeah you're wrong i've tried it blah blah blah. maybe i have different chemistry different body chemistry i don't know maybe if i smelled you in person i'd, I'd be like yeah you know what it doesn't smell too bad but as a guy you know maybe i sweat and it just you know no it didn't work for me i didn't like the way it felt i didn't like the way it smelled i'm not a fan of coconut either way but you know maybe i'm a woman i don't know um but yeah, 
for this. I, I definitely recommend it if you have issues with your hands, um, or probably your feet as well, right? I, I, like me, I don't have really that much issue with my feet. I make sure I put like heavy ass lotion <laughs> on my feet because I see, I mean, yeah, I'm a guy, but if it looks bad for me on a woman, on a guy, it really doesn't bother me because I'm just like, it's a guy, whatever, you know? But when I see a woman with dry feet, like, or like she doesn't maintain her feet, like, obviously, I can't tell if her feet, like a woman's feet smell bad from a distance. But I can tell, like, that she don't take care of her fucking feet from a distance. Because I can see on the back, you know what I'm saying? It looks bad, like on the heel. And when I see that, and I'm sorry if I offend anyone or I piss them off, but it looks fucking horrible on a woman. Okay? Usually when I see women, I think, you know, beauty. I think elegante. You know? <laughs> I'm just... You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think, you know, they're supposed to be, like, you know, beautiful creatures, whatever you want to say, sexy, whatever. If I see that on a woman, she could be, she could be, like, a model. But if I see the back of her foot like that, I'm like, that is fucking nasty. Like, take care of that shit. Please take care of that shit. I mean, I just do not like that shit. I hate it. But that's just me. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, excuse me. You know, like, I'm not asking you to look at my feet, you know, some shit like that. I am just, I'm just telling you. Doesn't look good. So, yeah, for me, after my showers or after I wash my feet, because I do wash my feet a couple times, you know, here and there, day, once a day, twice a day, something like that, depends. I'll put lotion. And I put heavy, heavy lotion. It might be like every other day when I wash, you know, like, well, obviously when you take a shower, you wash your feet. But... I make sure I wash my fucking feet. And then I put, while they're still wet, <laughs> I put heavy, heavy. I always put like more than one and I make sure I put a lot. And then I sock them up. Sock those motherfuckers up. Sock them up and it'll, it'll eventually like start like soaking in or whatever. And then afterwards couple hours a few hours pass and then i can take my socks off you know because obviously something's going to get absorbed into the socks whatever but after that i'm pretty cool <laughs> but i'm sure a lot of people know about all this already i don't know why i gotta say all this but yeah definitely recommend this like i said you see that's leaking see the oil's coming out of the bottom so where's the front yeah this user and I, I do recommend Curel, like I said. Um, if you if if you don't mind that smell or you feel like you can maybe add a couple drops of like if you're a you're, you're a woman you might like uh, lavender, it might hide it a little bit. Um, but yeah, this works. Um, worth the price, in my opinion. I was kind of you know kind of doubted it a little bit i was skeptical but it really does work so if you do have these issues recommend this 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 brand you know these brands are pretty good but definitely go for it if you want we do a lot of other videos if you're inter interested go ahead and watch them if you actually watch them all thank you take care